I interned at the Times newspaper and at the Victoria and Albert Museum. I was interning at my wardrobe for three months in the studio. <laughs> my first intern experience was at Mirabella magazine in New York. My dream was always to work in fashion. My parents were completely against it. So I asked them to just give me a chance, let me go to New York for three months, and then I'd get a job right afterwards. I was here for eight weeks as an intern and I was working with the buying and merchandising department. So I was interning here as the Women's Wear Press Centre and the PR department for three months. While I was working at the Times, I think the best experience I had was I was asked by the fashion editor, Lisa Armstrong, to do some writing, kind of my take on the trends, which for an intern is a big thing to do. A little bit later, I got the job, so I think I did a good job, but to be given the opportunity when I was an intern to do that was pretty amazing. So I was assistant to Nina Garcia, who's now a fashion TV star, and it was a great initiation into fashion. I did everything that was needed because my main goal was to get a job from that internship. So it was great. It was a great experience. As an intern, I was assisting the stylists with uh, everyday shooting of product, uh, assisting them on all the editorial shoots. Now I manage all the stock, all the product in the London office. Um, and I also assist with all social media content. So after three months, I left. It missed me so much, they asked me to come back. So I came straight back, started working here. It is a bit different, because I now I've got more responsibility, but it's really great, because I get to form relationships now with members of the press. As my internship was coming to an end, a role became available, and everyone at my wardrobe told me that I should go up for it, so I did. Um, luckily, I got the role. I got more responsibility, I just did more important things, really. When I was an intern for the v and I had what can only be described as an odd experience as an intern. Uh, I was working on the Vivian Westwood retrospective, and we obviously had lots of mannequins on which the clothes were going to be placed. But for some reason, I think it was probably a case of the heat in the building, they'd started to kind of perspire. These mannequins were producing some kind of liquid, and I, as the intern, had to spend a day rubbing mannequins down, which was odd, to say the least. The funniest moment was when I couldn't, I, was trying, I couldn't figure out why Kuwait hadn't collected a bag from downstairs and he said, oh, I don't, I don't send samples out there outside of London. I thought, it can't be that far. So I called Addison Lee to book a bike to Cheshire. Obviously, my English job is not very good. <laughs> we have a lot of interns that come through the My Wardrobe family and I think the ones that stand out are those that are passionate but also that possess a certain amount of humility. So they're prepared to get their hands dirty no matter what, whether it's making tea or helping to organise a photo shoot. So, you really want someone that's willing to do anything and not complain about it. I want to see a person who's interested in fashion but also can bring in other things into the department because I think that's really important in the industry. Um, to not only look into fashion, I think to be really good at fashion you have to also be aware of everything else around you. Um, another thing that I look into is someone that really wants to work hard. It's not just about glamour. It's um, about working hard and at the same time having fun, but I just want an intern that's super committed.